Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. It's a nice looking morning, but the wind is howling. It's about 23 miles an hour with gusts up to 32. And there's some pelicans out there just rolling in the waves. Rolling in the waves. You know, yesterday, I'm going to put up this window, guys. Man, the dust is blowing. Last night, the love shack was rocking and it had nothing to do with me. <laughs> and uh, the leaves blowing around off the live oaks. They're like small, sharp leaves. And I could really see that doing some eye damage to anyone who, unfortunately, was in the way. I heard this cool concept the other day, and I had heard it before, and I thought about it. What if you knew every day pretty wildflowers. You have some yellows and some black-eyed Susans, white ones. What if you knew every day that when you woke up every day for the rest of your life, you were going to have $86,400 in your bank account? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But at the end of the day, if you didn't spend that money, it went away. And then the next day that you're alive, you get another $86,400. You would spend it all, right? Every day. You would do the things you want to do. You would, you would travel. You would buy yourself a nice thing. You would buy your family nice things you would help your friends you would if it if it got down to it you would just give your money away to strangers rather than have it just disappear and go to waste right you would make the most of that money every single day because you knew the next day you were guaranteed that eighty six thousand four hundred dollars that's what most people would do. The poor birds in that birdhouse there are getting knocked around. Well, that's a feeder. That might be a birdhouse. That's a birdhouse. Okay. They're rocking. Look at these very nice houses on the water. Most of them summer places, weekend places. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't waste a penny of that money. That's what most people would do. It's guaranteed. You're getting that $86,400 the next day. You're going to make the most of every single penny. That's a lot of pennies. <laughs> but you wouldn't just spend $20 and leave the rest in the bank and have it disappear, right? No. No try to help people help yourself enjoy the day have a good time well the concept of this is there just happens to be 86,400 seconds in every day and yeah you got to sleep is that really a waste though no it's good for you but every day you wake up you have 86,400 seconds to do something positive. So, make the most of it. Yeah, you got to you got a grocery shop. You got to you got to go to the to the, you know, you got to wash your clothes. You got to clean. But the idea is to do something for yourself. And maybe your friends, and maybe for a stranger, every day, you know? 
think that woman's trying to get a cell phone signal up there. That's interesting. I'd kind of like to do a U-turn here and uh, just look at the houses. Yeah, there's 86,400 seconds in a day. So what am I going to do today? I'm going to make some YouTube videos. I'm going to go to the laundromat. I don't have to work tonight. But I'm going to take that time in the afternoon and read. I'm going to walk short distances throughout the day. I'm going to make myself a good cup of coffee. I initially had planned to go to Port Aransas today and check out the sand sculptures but I'm not getting sandblasted today you know something else I want to tell you the tides were so low two days ago in our area that they wouldn't allow big trucks and trailers onto the ferry because it, it affected the loading of the ferry and that might be common if you live in Port Aransas you'll know better than I do. But that's actually the first time that I've heard of that. I would imagine if the water... Well, if the water was choppy, they wouldn't let any cars on. And now that the wind is on the other side, I think we can open a window here. Yeah, we didn't see anyone walking their dogs out in this mess, huh? There's a car at this one. Wind chimes. Mm -hmm. I have thought about just getting a little tiny set of wind chimes for my truck. And I think I would like that, but I don't know how practical that would be. Since the wind is always pretty aggressive around here. But I do like the sound of wind chimes. Of course, maybe it would uh, keep people away from me. Man, you hear that? This is just a smaller one, but this is kind of what I hear when I park under those um, umbrellas at the beach that are kind of a thatch on the roof of them. It's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. And the air is really wet. That's why my brakes are squeaking. Yeah, that humidity came back yesterday. Hey, I want to thank my buddy Drew. Uh, Drew sent me a very nice gift through PayPal. And uh, Drew and his family are just awesome. Drew, Liz, Tika. Tika's a good girl. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Drew had also just sent me those Elvis stamps that I thought was pretty neat. Not a through street. Not a through street. Huh. I wonder what that means. Not a through street. Is that a nice way to say dead end? Because there is kind of a dirt road there. That's, a, that's, un, that's an unusual sign. It doesn't say like private drive or dead end street. It said not a through street. There you go. There's a good example of that noise. And we're kind of sheltered back here. It is so windy today that I'm going to be sick later because I got coffee from McDonald's. When I pulled in, I uh, ordered the coffee through the phone app so I could get it for free. And uh, when I got to McDonald's on the way to the beach, there was an ambulance there and several cop cars and a bunch of cars parked like a skew in the driveway. And I'm, I don't, I don't want to make a joke in case someone really got ill there or got injured, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of confidence in a restaurant when you, when you pull up. Oh, you're turning here. Cool. Of course you are. 
maintenance guys. Maintenance, they're not maintenance guys. They're lawn care guys. That's a cool looking house. Yeah, so I hope whoever needed an ambulance is okay. But it doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence in ordering food from McDonald's. It kind of looked like whoever needed an ambulance was actually like in line in their car. But I drove around to the other open side and they handed me a coffee. I didn't even go to the little the little screen. I like these houses with the decks. There's another guy here working, servicing something. Looks like a internet or cable guy. Guy in the passenger seat is asleep. I passed them up the road coming in. Yeah. So I guess my message today is don't don't eat at McDonald's. <laughs> I'm actually afraid to drink this coffee. And uh, get done what you need to get done every day and then make the most of it. And take care of yourselves and eat a little better and exercise a little bit more. Check in on your friends and family if you have a lot. Check on on a few every day. Check in on those especially that you think need it. Some people just need it. Some people are going through tough spots in their lives some people go through tough spots every day and they just grind right on you know they don't talk about it they're all smiles at least on the outside some people are just workhorses Here's another weird thought for you. A weird thought from you, Dennis? That's odd. Yeah, I know. Next time you go to Walmart, see if you notice how many people are limping. Not just customers, because I certainly limp. It's a navigation district. I certainly limp, but employees as well. A lot of veterans working at our uh, Rockport Walmart, which is awesome. A lot of Army and Navy people. What if there's any Marine greeters? <laughs> that just doesn't seem like uh, the two would go together, does it? <laughs> Well, guys, make the most of your 86,400 seconds today. I think you just wasted a, a thousand or two watching this video. <laughs> but I do appreciate it, guys. Thanks for riding along. Thanks for watching.